Oh, I don't know. This thing is going to win awards at car shows. Yeah, yeah. Well, the story goes, as everybody knows, why this car looks this way. The only problem now is that we got to figure out a way to get this hood open because it's a little bit shut. And the only reason why the camera keeps coming up is because we've got some battery cables to get to. Yeah. Battery cables cost money, so we want them back. Kind of like chain. We're, we're taking the chain off, too. So, uh... The, the spikes we don't care about. Are you sure? Well, maybe she wants to. Do. Night of destruction. Good day of tonight destruction. Watch out. We're getting the right side up because that's the side we need the uh, battery cable. What? <laughs> Okay, you split the hood now. There you go, beautiful. You like that, huh? Yep. He called me beautiful. Oh, you, you and I did this? Wow. All right, so folks, here's most of the derby cars from the night. Yep. So what were you just saying? I was saying that I'm proud that we took care of this car and did all this damage. Look at that. That is... This car got messed up in the front end. It also didn't have any chain though, and it just kind of goes to show you. Oh, got a battery. This is the- That battery placement's actually perfect. Yeah, I know. That, that car's good on battery placement. That's what's nice about those Hondas, is they place them back there. That's something you don't even have to move. This is the car that won the powder plus demolition derby. Yeah, the one that Shayla was supposed to be in. Not this car, but the derby. I don't know if this, the guy who prepped this car and put it together, Use some of our stuff, but I don't see anything in it right now. Yeah. This car was supposed to be in the Derby. It was. I got wrecked out of the speed play race. I did, no, the Enduro. Oh, that's right, that's right. Dennis. I didn't say, look what happened in the Enduro. <laughs> Dennis Ferdin, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This car was in the Derby. Now, what took this car out? I figured it out. <laughs> suspension. I'm like, what took this car out? Look at the one. The wheel hits. Add it up for this car. Now this, I push, this, I push this car out of the arena. The, the into a tire. This back end right here was, I was looking at it inside of my car. Yeah. This back end was in my window. The low budget TVS is they doing, Lee's battery, Dave's auto, whatever else special. Nice work. What took me out of the flat tire? Yeah, right? Nope. You took some hard hits in this room. I did. Look at how much that T-bone bar moved. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that was from the big car derby or if that was all from the little car. I imagine it collective effort. Look at the back end of this. <laughs> That's right. Now, did you, how much pain were you in the following day? I was completely fine. Right here and uh, right here and my left leg right here. That's very, it was sore, but it wasn't obnoxious at all. <laughs> Now, now, if anyone looked at this car, they'd probably be convinced that you died because... I, you know what was funny is I forgot that I got hit in the door during the derby, so when I went to hop out of it, I was really struggling during it to get out of the car, and I was trying to... I was really confused as to why I was struggling to get out of this car, and it wasn't because I was in pain or anything. It's because I got door hit. Now, this... And it completely this, closed in my window. Now, this... To be honest, wasn't just from the small car derby. No, it's well, uh, the, big car, the big car derby as well. Uh, gave this car some hits too. So I mean, it's hard to tell. Um, it's an accident when you get hit in the door most of the times. For me, it was the guy. Uh, definitely wasn't meaning to. I hope not. Uh, it was a zero seven guy who was a blast to run out there with because he was hitting stuff just as much as we were hitting them. So, so this car done. It got, yeah, it's done. It got on fire. So I, we're going to really take a good look as to why when we take off. But you already have a theory. I think it popped the uh, fuel filter off, which I'll show you if it's there or not. 
where it was located or still is. The double zero machine, this puppy lasted me the whole 2013 season. You guys got to fall in love with this car from its birth of a skip plate to its death. This car held up pretty well, Joker. It got wrecked in all the right spots. It, it did. Look it, at the back end of the car and how you want it to be. The fifth, the front end, it held up very well considering yeah. what took it out. I mean, you can see here, the chain did its job. The back end just curled. It, it, the back end curled up, which, like Tommy said, is what you want it to do. And then if you look at this, you probably think, wow, you got killed in the door. But that was from the big cars. One tire facing kind of to the left. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah, I mean, really, the suspension even held up on this car. What took me out was this, this big here, right here in the front end. And we'll see, we'll see what's left of it. But, uh, you know what actually might have taken me out? No, I didn't. What? The, I forgot the battery hole setup is right here. Mm -hmm. It might have shortened out or something. All right, well, we're going to unchain these puppies and... Uh, yeah, for this car, we're going to have to take out the battery cables, get all the chain off, and then at a later date, take out the T-bone bar. Yeah, because we're going to reuse that T-bone bar. Oh, man, I'm going to miss that shifter that got stuck because of a stupid, 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 stupid cigarette lighter. Well, this will be the last time you folks ever see these cars here. They sure did us well. Yes, they did. You didn't You didn't get to know your car as well as I got to know mine. No, you spent all year with your car. I spent three or four races. But it, it did good. It done very good. What's funny is the first skip play race you ever drove in that, you lasted two laps. Yeah, and I was about done with it then. Yeah. But guess what? It prevailed. To see it go, but I had so much fun letting it go. There's there's three three new pieces of equipment headed our way at some point, so we'll see it. This car, I mean, fared really well. I mean, in the end, it I, this car was one of I think the only one in our camp that didn't have a wheel get knocked a wrong direction. <laughs> this one made me proud in the derby. This car did right here. Yeah. Mine, of course, did, but, but the 96 was a pleasant surprise that entire night. Uh-huh. It kept going and going. Now, what are you doing under my car? I'm uh, adjusting. It looks like you're, you're reaching into... I'm doing something. Under, under the skirt right now. I am. I'm, I'm playing dirty. Folks, I need your help. I've been looking for a 10 millimeter. I do not see one. There's a 15. There's a 12. The problem child of the low budgets. Good night. Black came left. Uh, are you talking schnit? I am. You got it? You got it. On these two guys. Okay. Okay. Good dang. Go dang. After everything, it's been fun. Out with the old and in with the new. 2014, gonna be a wild one. And folks, there just may be more than one out of destruction like we said. And we hope you are all ready to join us for another season of the Low Budgets. Oh man. Are you low budget? You. I try, I, I am on weekends. Otherwise, I have a mansion. Three cars. An RV. A water fountain, a nude statue of myself, <laughs> amongst other things. The nude statue is my favorite. <laughs>